So this is just me getting very excited about, wait for it, yes, Zoom has sorted itself out when it comes to whiteboards. Yay! So um, we'll do a more detailed, thorough walkthrough of how to make the best of the whiteboards in Zoom and how to use them in your meetings and workshops very soon. But for now, let me just share my excitement with you. You need to do the latest update. I'm recording this on the 26th of April. You might be ahead of me. Congratulations if that's the case. But if you haven't updated to the latest Zoom, um, do it now. Let me just breathe. I'm so excited. Um, and then what you will find when you log into your first meeting is, look, a new little icon, whiteboards. So you can share a whiteboard by clicking on that. And what you will see here is my um, pre-prepared whiteboards. You could actually go in, you've got a whiteboard library now in your settings um, and you can pre-prepare whiteboards. Um, or you can create a brand new whiteboard to share with your group, which I'm going to do right now. You'll see that the videos still share here and you can still bring up the chat box um, on the right hand side. So all of that's working. But if you look on the left hand side here and you can move this toolbar, um, you have loads more features. So post-it notes, those of you that like to use sticky notes for brainstorming, then that feature is now here in Zoom, a massive benefit. Um, you can even bring in, if you do the um, advanced settings, setup of your whiteboard prior to a meeting, you can actually bring in images, um, you can type and text on the screen, um, you can draw much more freely. Um, and all sorts of features that I'm just super excited about. It just makes for a much more collaborative experience. Um, and I'm going to show you way more as I play and explore to see what it can do very, very soon. But in the meantime, play yourself. It is exciting. Zoom. Thank you.